one thing I view Tesla as doing, and Elon has kind of talked about this a little bit, is Tesla's really kind of becoming a distributed uh, energy company. And, you know, he's kind of talked a little bit about this, but sometimes it, you have to kind of hear it enough times to sort of piece together exactly like what Elon's plan is. Uh, and then once you get it, it's like, oh my God, that's so brilliant. You know, like no wonder, uh, yeah, this thing's taken off. He's talked a little bit about in the past that every supercharger is eventually going to be solar powered. And I'm thinking this is a great idea, but until they'd really started nailing this uh, large energy storage part of the equation, the solar part was like not extremely compelling yet. But now they can have a mega pack at each supercharging station. They can have a parking lot covered with solar panels. The buildings of, you know, the roofs of the buildings that you're in the parking lot of covered in solar panels. Tesla will provide that. And then if it's sunny outside, you're charging directly from the sun. That's great. If it's nighttime, you've got a big mega pack there and you're drawing power preferentially from there. And so then Tesla can avoid uh, these like big, you know, peak demand charges that you typically get with like really high power consumption uh, rate plans. So they kind of start smoothing out their own rate paying ability. Plus they're adding in their own uh, solar energy. So they're, you know, paying less overall for, for electricity. And we all know that now, uh, solar is more than cost competitive with fossil fuels. So Tesla can have a very low cost of energy. And then they've got this huge battery there. They can actually not just save money when they're charging, uh, the, you know, their, their customers vehicles, but they can also sell this energy back as peak demand stuff. So they've got a distributed grid that has essentially all these lithium ion solar co-generating peaker plants all over the place that are already getting paid for out of another uh, revenue stream that they would otherwise be paying to, uh, you know, the, like the utility. So like just on the savings that they're getting, they're actually able to build out like all this additional uh, utility. It's, it's just so smart. It's a, Another great example of how Tesla uses its unfair advantages against the competitors. And the competitors are many at this point. Um, yeah, it just, it blows my mind, like how thoroughly and comprehensively this has been thought through. Um, don't be surprised when you start seeing mega packs and big solar installations going on at supercharging stations. Uh, one other thing, by the way, I was looking, I've been on the road for about, a, I don't know, a week and a half at this point. I'm in Texas somewhere at a supercharger, as it happens. And when I'm looking at the supercharger map, like, yeah, it's really great. You know, on the earnings call, they were highlighting how many superchargers, um, you know, they have. And, and it's awesome. But like, I have to like, just look at it and think, you know what? This is nothing compared to what it's going to be pretty soon you're going to see all these dots all over the place that these supercharging stations that are actually like positive revenue generating assets for Tesla and not just because of people, you know, paying them to charge, they'll be actually producing energy and then putting it on the grid at times of peak, uh, at peak demand when they can make a killing off of the marginal energy input. It's brilliant. And they can monitor <laughs> They can, you know, they can adjust the rate that they're charging um, people's cars up to some degree to kind of balance and uh, balance this whole grid thing out. So, oh man, I'm really excited to see where this goes. It's going to be a few more years. It's going to be a slow build, but when it comes, you know, to full fruition, you're going to see huge growth in this. And this is, I think, part of where Elon's uh, head is at with regard to the energy side of the equation. So anyway, um, that's just some ideas that I've had musings while driving and, uh, all right. Origami Cybertruck out. <laughs> <laughs>